Hey everybody, welcome back to the game we've been playing. It's episode 65, if you can believe that. I can't uh, believe it. This would be the time to start guessing on how long the series will be in total. And, 100. Uh, oh, yeah, I think it'll be at least 100. I, I think it, it might be pretty close to around 100. I think like, maybe we went through Act 2 faster than some people because of some of the results that we got, but... Yeah, but also, like, we do all of the character side stories and stuff, so, like, mm. I bet you people don't do all of that unless they're core to their party or something. And yep. we have pretty much all the party members, minus, like, the evil people, so... Uh, yep, we do yep, have yep. to go to bed to leave the, the camp, it looks like, so Luckless is going to do the camp in case he gets some special benefits, because I always do the resting. Yeah, so I just wanted to note, I equipped a shield on Karlak with the Blood of Lathander... Uh, just because she's going down in, in a lot of the fights and she needs some extra AC, I think. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Yes, I would like to go to bed. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the Brain, and by extension, the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the Astral Prison, and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Right. You will finally we'll have, the have the chance to destroy Gortash. But what then? What fires will still burn in you when he is extinguished? Will you liberate the true souls from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use Ooh. the power you gain for your own purposes? Yeah, well, I feel like that's pretty obvious that that's where we're heading, no? I will dominate the world. First Gortash, then the rest of my life. Your blood swims hot at the very prospect. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. <laughs> ah! The reckoning is upon us! The city thirsts for domination. No. Karlak has left the party. <laughs> under attack. Fight your oh, wow. The Base defense. I need your help. Oh, cool. Three turns. Escape, Escape to the portal. Oh. Escape to the portal. Okay, we just got a bunch of journal updates here. Really quick. So, uh, yeah, yeah. confront the Elder Brain, control the Elder Brain, or destroy the Elder Brain. Okay, we're gonna have some serious chats before that happens. <laughs> uh, head to the portal. During the night, we were woken by the voice of the Absolute Getyanki. Contingent ambushed us. We heard the voice of the Dream Visitor desperately seeking our help. Okay, so this is not a fight. This is a run, right? Yeah. Cause like I can just misty step out of here with uh, Asterion. Yeah, I mean I could just dash. Right. right? Like. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think so. You probably have an opportunity attack to try and get through that guy. Like, maybe you need to jump, but... Bye! Oh. Does that oh, does that take everyone? <laughs> I guess that's it. You did it. Uh, okay, nice. Way to go. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> nice try, get the Yankee. The camp's destroyed, though. Oh, man. Okay, we saw this. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh... Gosh! Any moment now, that orb is going to explode. The hell? Those, those are the same kids, Yankee, right? Okay, they're doing 
doing flips and stuff. Pretty sure she broke her neck there. <laughs> parkour, parkour. The office. No. No. Yeah, the fish. Okay, I mean, that, that is the Giff Yankee approach. Yeah, that's what I would do too. Is that where the elder brain is supposed to go? Like, do you think I that don't know? Whoa, what's going on here? Help me. I'm under attack. Oh, they're just fighting each other. Now I guess we have to help her. We do? Yeah, she's saying, help me, I'm under attack, right? Dream visitor, I'm here, help me, I'm under attack. Oh, okay. Sorry. When you said her, I thought you meant these ones that were fighting. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I need you now. The brains are on our side. We should um, get in there, dude. Yeah, yeah. But, like, everyone. Yeah, they are on our side, eh? At least for now. Um, okay, I don't have advantage unless you are able to... Oh, you can engage. Forget it. Ping, I'm ping. going to conjure. I like that earth elemental. Ping, ping. Yeah, I realized I also have an elemental that I can conjure. Conjure so have, him up, man. You have earth. And, uh, okay. I'll bring fire. Surprise! Nice. Okay. Fire attacks. Oh, no. Send a creature to scorch with a multitude of primordial flames. Erupting cinder, giant cinder ball, and lob it, bursting in a wide explosion. Or smoldering touch. Burn them. Elemental warp. Yeah, dude, these elementals are broken, I think. <laughs> For real. Wow, that was it. I don't think I hit at all. <laughs> Friend of Nick, you will be cleansed. Boom. Um, have you played with your reaction um, menu at all? Nope. Because some of those things you may want to turn Oops. on to like to auto cast. Oh, there's a way to do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now what? Ask backwards. Is that isn't that all of them? Oh no, wait. Oh, one's down. My bad. My bad. Let me see if I can ensnare here. Unfortunately, no. It's not over. Come to the skull. Okay. Hopefully those guys can jump. What about all their gear, guys? There's hair and It's not over. Uh, there's intellect of our brains. You go, you go. I'll I'll do this. this you want my me to favorite. go alone? This is my favorite part of the game. Yeah, well, you should be uh, in the in the lead, anyways. But I always have less patience, so I'm like just going. Oh, hello. I don't want to get into a fight. It'll be fine. Guess I gotta like move these guys too. I can't hold them off much longer. Oh, we still have our. Uh, oh no. Hold on. They stay around, man. No, no, not that. I'm talking about the uh, the giant leap, but I thought it was long strider. Just stay here for a sec. Yep. It's not over. Come to the skull. How do I get my elemental here? Uh, there's a like oh, the a warp, warp thing. Yeah. Now. 
I'm gonna see if I can cast the long strider on our, on our big boys too. Oh, never mind. Just do it over here. Yep, nice. Let me hit your uh, guy with it real okay. quick. Do we have any other buffs? Do we have like aid or anything? All right, let's go. Let's go. Moving in. Your okay. round ass kick the brain. I go with the soccer kick first one. This feels very uh, Marvel yeah. battle. So we're helping. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know who I'm helping right now. Whoever's not red. Oh, do you think this is that Orpheus guy? That's the other, the proper Gith Yankee leader. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Before you do anything, I am your ally. We Emperor. are in danger. A mind flare. God's damned abomination. Uh oh. The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. Okay. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help me. Prove it. Prove it. Prove to me that you are who you say. You saved a child from a viper back in the Druid's Grove. True. You saved the Asima Night Song from her soul cage. Well, we killed her later. Oh, no, that's the other one. Last time you were here, though it brought Blackith's wrath upon you. Your continued existence huh. as yourself, and not a mind flayer, should be all the proof you need. Now, help me. Oh boy. Detect thoughts. I mean, you can try it. I'm gonna try. Thirteen. You can Boom. do this. Boom! What you got? Twenty, baby. Oh, Despite easy. Your best You're gonna cripple his brain. Subtle, the mind flare's awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a warg pup learning to walk. You must be joking. <laughs> I am telling you my thoughts directly into your head. Did All you right, roll a natural right. twenty? But yeah. If you insist on taking oh. a look for yourself, be my guest. Nothing in your colorful existence to date could have prepared you for this. As the horror subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. Yeah, but that could be his... He could be just controlling you. Now, join me. Fight. Man. What do you, what do you think? What do you think? This is, this is a group decision, for sure. I mean... Okay, so he knows all the events. Uh, Blackith wanted us to kill that thing, right? To kill the Mind Flayer? Yeah. Um... Can I view the journal? No, I cannot. And I think that's Orpheus, right? The. I, I think, like, the idea was that so she could get to Orpheus, so that. She then could who take could get control. to Orpheus? Blackith, the queen, the Yankee queen. Um. Blackith was the god that snapped us, right? Yeah. But Orpheus is the true leader, and you're assuming that this guy is Orpheus. 
for whatever yeah, reason. So. Yeah, I think so. And uh, who was the other guy that came and said he wanted to overthrow Vlacketh? Who was that Githyanki called? I can't remember his name. <laughs> but yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, okay. I don't know, man. I, I, I he's a freaking mind flayer. Like, it's and too, so what? He's what too exact, powerful. What is he doing? So he's protecting Orpheus, it seems, almost, right? What? Or is he fighting to contain him? He's fighting to contain him, right? He says that the he said that get Yankee. Uh, hold on. You have to subdue the Gith Yankee. Yeah. You must do whatever you can to subdue him. So I don't think he's protecting him. I think he's trying to kill him. And vice versa. And the the choice is now join me, fight, or or don't, and try to fight the Mind Flare. What do you think? I'm gonna... I, I think number one. So you think all, all of a sudden now we're cool? We're just gonna be cool with the Mind Flayers? Well, we have been the whole time. How do you know? This is the dream, uh, Guardian. So, so you believe him? Yes. But you say it so factually. I don't get it. Well, I'm not sure. I can't be, you can't be sure of anything. It, okay, if they're not the dream guardian, then why isn't the dream guardian here? I don't know. So I guess what you're saying is but like, if the emperor's the emperor's been looking at us the whole time and now has decided to to come here well to i assume us. i assume if he's the emperor yeah he's the most powerful of the mind flayers yeah right and so he probably has a heightened level of awareness as to things yeah. that are going on yeah and he could just be saying those things that he's either you know witnessed from afar or um mm -hmm. or been privy to by other psionic means, right? And now that we're here, he's like, it's e it's either we're gonna kill him or he's gonna tell us what we need to hear to not kill him. Yeah, but I I think I'm I'm gamifying a bit here. If the if it wasn't the guardian, the guardian would show up and say it's not me, you know, like unless he's uh, the emperor suppressed them in some way. Yeah. I think know. in order to like get our trust, the guardian had to, uh, the emperor had to pretend to look like someone else. The way that I look at this is we're choosing to either um, attempt to overthrow like Vlacketh as mm -hmm. the Githyanki queen with like the proper heir, or, mm -hmm. or we're siding with um, the Mind Flayer emperor. That's how I look at it. I look at it as we either trust the Dream Guardian slash Emperor, or we don't. I mean, but how do you not have considered we, the Gith Yankee component? Yeah. Because he literally says, or it says here, you're left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Gith Yankee, which is clearly a result of the Emperor mind melding us and saying, and, and like influencing us to feel that way. Yeah. So it's it's up to you. I'm fine either way. But those are all yeah. my thoughts. So what are you what are you leaning towards then? You leaning towards two? Personally, I would say like it's really convenient that he's just showing us this true thing now, where he like really needs us to not kill him. Yeah. Well, I think maybe he's he, they're desperate, right? Sure. Who's not? I'm not, also not. I'm not a hundred percent sure on the motivations of the Giz Yankee here. Like. Are it looks like they're that... trying to just destroy it. <laughs> yeah, they're destroying it, right? And uh, so, so, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not pro Gith Yankee, but yeah. I would really like to get rid of Lacketh. Exactly. And... So, if they're here to kill that guy, then they're we're actually supporting Lacketh by saying no. Because we're we're gonna let them do their thing. If that's if that's Orpheus, right? Uh the way I say see no is, like, if this is Orpheus, then we shouldn't kill him if we yeah. want him to overtake her. Yeah, I'm not sure that. But if we're the joining Emperor the mind flayers, him. yeah. But he, how are you not sure of that? That's literally what it says. Does it? Go into the dialogue. Read the second last line. Um, 
First time you, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. Yeah, the Githyanki that are trying to get to Orpheus, right? That doesn't mean that they're trying to let him free. It could mean that they're trying to kill him. Like they were sent by um, Flakith. Sure, I guess. There's a couple of like strange it's, leaps that I have it, to make to get to where you're at. But it's a sure. little, it's not clear what the Githyanki is trying to do here. Like all the Githyanki that we fought have been on Vlacketh's side, right? We Correct. had those those three um, join us to try to like uh, get rid of Vlacketh, but these aren't them. Right. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make the leaps. <laughs> sure. Good, give her. Okay, number one. All right. Committing? Sure. Okay, let's go. Together, we can turn the tide. Help your protector. Okay. Um. So this is Prelate Lyric. Gishra Gimri. The imprisoned Gith Yankee is close to breaking free with the help of its allies. The Mind Flayer is struggling to keep him subdued. Without our help, it will not succeed. We must destroy the Gith Yankee assailants. So they do want to free him. Okay. It seems like. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah. So yeah, it is Orpheus. Like the fact that you knew that right away is like, that's pretty wild. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go. See how it plays out. I'm not sure how it's all going to play out. Well, I, I would hope not. <laughs> like we're still not really sure why our the guardian protector dude is keeping him here, right? Maybe there's another reason. Ah, oh, there we go. I didn't have great weapon master all in. I was like, why what am I not doing more damage? favor? Within 18 meters of Prince Orpheus, the affected entity has resistance to psychic damage and plus three bonus to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I can't wisdom save through this. Got there. It's gonna be pretty tough. I gotta make sure I lead with that dread ambusher. There we go. Now I don't have to select that. Oh yeah, the these guys have psionics. We should pop those potions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You especially. Uh -huh. Our fire, our elementals are just like way back there. Right? So are we not attacking this Orpheus, I guess? We're just killing the assailants. Yeah. And you know, we might even have an option to be able to try to release him if we don't like what um, the Mind Flare has to say. She'll see. Okay, where's that? Oh, that's funny. I was looking to knock them off, too. Um... Does this guy have any weapons? Nope. They're all martial arts. Walk up. Can we also? Oh yeah, still can't make it. Do I need to pop that? I think I'm good. Ooh, 
Ooh, there we go. I like how we just taking the, like, no coordination, just whack them. Just whacking them. We don't really need to do anything. Try mind flayer domination. Yeah, cool. Woo. Oh, yeah, we can super jump. Yeah, that's true. Oh, hold person. Dirty. Okay. okay who went? Who went up? I think I'm just gonna recast lightning on these guys. I maybe should have we should have thrown some water down, but it's fine. They actually have a decent amount of health. Fifty-five percent. Going down, Lyric. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> AC 19. Roll a four and a six. Yikes. We can break this concentration here. That would free Asterion. Never mind. I hit click trick right as you're saying. Saved four concentration throws in a row. Oh, but he gets that bonus to to saves because he's near his buddy there. Nice. I think. So not sure about our choice. <laughs> Because these are all, um, they're like Honor Guard of Orpheus, right? Let's see. They're Honor Guard of Orpheus? One, one of them said Honor Guard oh. Orpheus. Might have made the wrong choice. We'll see, though. It can't be, it's hard to tell. Take it. Ember Gish. Got you, buddy. Get in there. He's finally dead. These elementals are like, yeah, <laughs> game changer, man. I think they're pretty OP. I'd love for someone to tell me I'm wrong there, but I don't think we are. One health. I think the Emperor might oh, have yeah, this. so it says Renegade Illithid on the Emperor. It's no yeah. Come to the skull. So why are you keeping him here? <laughs> That's Thank cool. You. That was too close. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I am a mind flayer. See the yes. braid moving? Yeah. 
Without me, you would be a slave to the Absolute. By the living gods! No more visions, no more lies! I expect answers. Now! Is this you or me? I think this might be me. I think it's you, because I was listening in to you. Um... Okay, so who are you? I'm going to need a name this time. You may call me the Emperor. Yeah, the subtitles told us that. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers. See Enzo or whatever from treasure, Assassin's Creed? Mm, yeah. To a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me what I am now. Oh, that's the colony that we were in. Journey Moonrise. For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals, unglamorous, but there are plenty of them, rarely missed. Hmm. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillmane. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield, the largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. Mercantile? People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though, of course, they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Um, you're gonna tell me what this battle was about? We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother huh. left, a usurper took her place. Blacketh declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prism. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my home on that prince, and if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. No problem. Uh, was it you or Orpheus that Vlacketh wanted us to kill when she ordered us inside the prism? Most certainly Orpheus. Uh, he is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Okay. Blacketh will be finished. Well, we could simply spill the beans. Yeah, exactly. So, and then once we deal with the, uh, the absolute, we can free him and he can take power back, right? How did Gortash and the other Chosen find out about the Astral Prism? A very good question. 
one that I have been unable to answer. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blackith. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. That Gortash and the Chosen found out about it, this is impossible to explain. But it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. And what happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, you would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. So what stops him from killing us after we, like, relinquish control and he takes over Vlacketh's position? Yeah. Well, I mean, Vlacketh wants to kill us too, so that, that really, that situation hasn't really changed. Um... <laughs> Well, I, yeah, I mean, I have eaten about a million tadpoles, so. <laughs> well, because he wasn't. Yeah, I mean, I guess all mind flayers don't start as mind flayers, right? Yeah, they they all get tadpoled. But who was the original? Was it Big Brain there? No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know how they started. We're alike in other ways, too, I think. I'm glad you think so. I agree. But there is one thing that you have that I do not. Dragon My King. original body was destroyed. <laughs> Dude, I was going to say I something. <laughs> Yours continues to limit you. Oh boy. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed oh, what I ever was before. You want to, you, want you to turn to an Alithid? Should embrace this change. Hmm. <laughs> Why do you say that? I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for mm. a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle oh. while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating <laughs> Could you up our intelligence, please? If you let me. I can evolve you. Okay. This, so this will, is that outer ring, right? Yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, if you can evolve me, why can't you stop Ceramorphosis altogether? The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Two, we have resurrection why scrolls. would I? Yeah. You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Hell yeah. So you, I guess you only have this option because you've taken all those tadpoles, right? I would assume. I would assume so. I'm happy to have more powerful friends, but, well, better you than me. You continue to surprise me. I wonder some, if Lazelle's going to leave. I was going to say, some people are not going to like this. Something special. Now, hold out your hand. Carlax got a beautiful look on her face. It's like, ooh. Oh, it's white. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do Tadpole so. Tadpole from the moon. It must commune with another. Probe at the tadpole's intentions. I mean, 
sure. It did not work. Ah. You want to use an inspiration? Because we, we have like a buttload. I got nothing. I can't. I can't even see the roll. Oh, okay. I got it. The tadpole screams. A Successfully used a tech thought to try into someone's thoughts. It's the first time we got one. <laughs> of life, yeah. of purpose. It welcomes your probing like a void waiting to be filled. If you let it, it will evolve you. Just as the Emperor said. I mean, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm going to open my mind to the tadpole. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. <clears throat> Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Did your eyes turn black? You are I didn't catch. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. See, this is where he seems sketchy now. Focus. This we is like a pyramid scheme. Journey. You heard the Chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain and bring it under our control. You just gotta give me 5,000 gold for the next level of Ceramorphosis. Half Illithid, yeah. You've embraced Ceramorphosis and become half Illithid. You can now unlock even more powerful psionics. I have five tadpoles. Oh, the whole thing reset. Wait. Oh, that's Asterion. Okay, that makes more sense. Five, man. Okay, so check this out. Yeah, I, can, uh, I think I can look too. Oh, apparently I can fly now. Just as oh, a I can't. class. I can't. So you have this whole outer... Uh, there's six of them, I guess? One, two, one? three, four, oh, five, two six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. And then I think fly is just unlocked. So now I can now I can fly like an illithid. See if you could find... Um, do you remember that black hole thing? Mm. It was slowing us? See if that one's there. I've got mind blast. That's pretty cool. Mind nexus. Okay, so let me just read these to you since yeah, you can't sure, see them. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So Mind Blast is uh, psychic damage, a conical wave of psychic energy that possibly stuns targets within. Very nice. Uh, not a concentration thing. It's just a lot of damage and possibly stuns once per long nice. Nice. Mind Sanctuary. Sculpt a magical nexus that allows those within to take actions and bonus actions interchangeably? We were talking about that. That's funny. Last time around. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of like... There are some situations where that's good. Mm -hmm. um, it's once per long rest. I wonder if I could just do that. Like, does that last forever? Like, does that last until long rest? That's what it seems like. It, is it, are you casting it on someone or is it an area? It's a magical nexus that allows those within to take actions okay. and bonus actions interchangeably. So it'll so, just, it'll sit there. So I yeah. guess it doesn't. We'd have to bring the fight to it if we want to use it in multiple fights. Oh, it's like yeah. That, it's like that silence. Right. It's going to be like an area of effect. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Um, free cast, you've discovered a marvelous adaptability within yourself. Spell slots, charges, and similar resource costs for your next action or spell are removed. Refreshes after a long rest. Spell slots, charges, and similar resource costs for your next action or spell are removed. So you basically get to cast something for free once yeah. per long rest. It's not yeah. bad. Absorb intellect, gobble up a foe's intellect, lowering intelligence by one per turn, and healing your wounds for five turns. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Displacer beast shape. Oh, I'm clicking this right away. <laughs> Transform into a displacer beast that can displace itself and enemies, has 85 hit points. You take on the attributes of a displacer beast, but maintain your intelligence, wisdom, and charisma scores. When your displacer beast form drops to zero, you revert. So this is like another wild shape, basically, which fits yep. pretty pretty well. I'm going to yep. take that right away. Fracture Psyche. Invade a target's mind and disrupt its defenses. The target's armor class is reduced by one. 
If the target dies while its Psyche is fractured, you can cast Shatter Psyche on another target. That's actually okay. pretty good. Illithid Expertise. You've deepened your sense of self, gaining expertise in persuasion, deception, and intimidation checks. I'm taking that. Yeah, because I don't think you have expertise. It might be proficient. I have... Uh, oh, yeah. I wonder what the difference is there. Double your proficiency bonus for any checks you make with skills you have expertise in. Cool. Psionic Dominance. Uh, when an enemy within 18 meters targets you with a spell of a level that is lower than or equal to your proficiency bonus, you can use your reaction to nullify the spell. I'll like take that. Yeah, Dude, your, so your Intimidation is 12 and Deception and Persuasion are 11, plus 11. Like, <laughs> and by then far black, the highest checks. Here's Black Hole. Here's Black Hole. Uh, create a point of intense gravity that pulls in all nearby enemies and possibly slows. Five more black holes can be summoned after this spell's initial casting. Afterwards, you must short rest before casting again. That was that's, really good. That's very good, yeah. So I have one more. Um, I don't know if Mind Sanctuary is going to be that good for us. Like... I guess the way I look at that is you could use bonus act. Like, I could cast that essentially on um, Karlak or or Will in the front line. Well, like, Will could use to, could do two Eldritch Blasts instead of one. Right, exactly. For example. Or you could use a bonus action to attack, like, do, to do a normal attack exactly. with Karlak. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty good. Um... I like just like, reducing armor class by one, too. Like, I don't think that's too bad. It's just on one person, though, right? And then it moves once they're dead. Yeah. That's um, what's, what was the other one? The, the stunning one? There's the mind blast. So you spew forth a conical wave of psychic energy and possibly Ooh. stun. That seems good, too. It does damage, too, right? Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, that's, that's pretty but, good. But I have to be closer. That's the thing. It's like a conical wave, mm -hmm. right? So that's and always And also, you're going to be transformed a lot, so... Yeah, I haven't been transforming very much, to be fair. The last, like, many fights, it's been a lot of druid yeah. form. I think you picked, like, the best ones, and now it's you're kind of just choosing between the medium good ones. So, mm -hmm. whatever you feel like. Let's try the Mind Sanctuary. with That's the, the Magical Nexus, so bonus actions and actions. All right. Okay. So I'm partial Illithid, which leads me to believe that I could become full. Yeah. Which is interesting. Do you want to just do a save? Uh, yeah. We're going to grab all this stuff, and then we'll take our break here. New boots. The wearer deals additional damage equal to their wisdom modifier with unarmed strikes. Oh, no, nobody's unarmed. Yeah. Let me grow. Oh, there's a void bulb. Kirin hair. Oh, potion of supreme healing. Whoa. Okay. Um, it's for alchemicaling that. Brewing? What's the term? Elixir of sea invisibility. Oh, yeah. Superior healing here, too, man. Heals and removes burning. Set them to you. Okay. Scroll of Confusion. Befuddle a group of creatures, causing them to attack at random, wander around aimlessly, and occasionally skip turns in stupor. Nice. Give me your brain. Isn't there one over here, too? There's just so many little Ouch. brains to take. Oh, pardon me. Scroll of Vampiric Touch. Fine. Some weave moss. Are you interested in trying to raise the dead on any of these? Just to see if there's, like, what their side of the story might be? Oh, talk to dead, right? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that when we come back. When we come back? Yeah, because we're going to take a break here. Oh, I'm just okay. keeping okay. it so that people can see what we pick up. All right, let's uh, let's take our break. When we come back, maybe we'll try to uh, speak to Dead and see how that goes. Uh, we should probably short rest, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Wish us luck. Thanks. Bye. Bye.